Let's get started. Let's take a list of words. Ghost, spaghetti, straight, enough, high, longhand. Now, if we take a look at that list, the first thing you can notice is that the letters GH can be placed in the beginning of a word, in the middle of a word, or at the end of a word. And as you can hear, the sound is different. Now, let's get to it together. Ghost is the first word. Now, what is the sound? What can you hear? What you can hear very clearly is this G sound. Ghost. It's called a hard G. Most of the time, when you have the letters G, H at the beginning of a word, it will be pronounced G, a hard G. The second word is spaghetti. Now, the G, H is in the middle of the word. And what sound can you hear? Again, you can hear that very hard G sound, spaghetti. So, when GH is in the middle of a word, it is sometimes pronounced G. But then if we take the third word, straight, again, GH is also in the middle of the word, but the sound is different. It's what we call a silent GH, straight. You can't actually hear anything. Okay, so sometimes it's when GH is in the middle of the word, it's silent. Now, our next example is a very interesting case. It's the word enough. And as you can see, GH is at the end of the word. And what can you hear? Can you hear a G sound? Or a silent GH? Well, no, actually, you can hear an F sound. Enough. So sometimes, with some words in English, GH is placed at the end of the word and is pronounced F, like enough. Our next example is the word high. And again, GH is at the end of a word. But the sound is not an F sound this time. It's a silent GH, high. So sometimes GH placed at the end of a word is silent. And our very last example was longhand. Now with longhand, as you know, I'm sure, it's a compound word. So it's an association of two different words. It's a special case. So in this case, the sound is not GH. The two letters are separate because you first have the word long and then you have the word hand. So you can actually hear both sounds in a separate way. Long, hand. Okay? So I hope you remember when GH is at the beginning of a word, most of the time it's a hard G sound, like ghost. When it's in the middle, most of the time it's silent, like straight, but not all the time. We have examples of a hard G sound, like spaghetti. When it's at the end of the word, most of the time it's silent, like high, but not all the time. We have example, examples sorry, of an F sound, like enough. And finally, we have compound nouns which are a special case, okay? Well, let's now review other words and find out how this GH sound is pronounced. Let's get started, guys. Please repeat after me. It's very important that you practice. This first category is for the hard G sound. Spaghetti. Aghast. Ghost. Ghetto. 
ghoul, ghastly, Ghana, Afghanistan. Let's continue with the F sound this time. Repeat after me. Enough. Cough. Laugh. Rough. Tough. Draft. And now let's look at words containing the silent GH. It's a big list. Now listen very carefully and repeat after me. Ought to. Drought. Fort. Slaughter. Straight. Slay. Sigh. Thigh. Naughty. Court. Daughter. Eight. Height. Weight. Neighbor. Might. Bright. Light. Night. Tight. High. Sigh. Bought. Although. Thought. Through. Though. And now a few examples of compound nouns. Now, because compound nouns are two separate nouns, you can clearly hear the sounds of the letter G and the letter H. Okay? Repeat after me. Foghorn. Jughead. Longhand. Egghead. Big headed. And finally, let's practice full sentences. Now remember, be very careful, listen very carefully, and try to remember how these GH sounds are pronounced. Repeat after me. The ghost had a light cough. My neighbor had enough spaghetti. His daughter went to the ghetto at night. We ought to laugh at the neighbor. Great job, guys. One final word I want to talk to you about is the word hiccup. Now, most of the time, the word hiccup is spelled C-U-P, okay, the American spelling, and it's pronounced hiccup. But if you ever go to the UK, you might see the old British spelling, it's spelled with G-H, and it's still pronounced hiccup. It's the same pronunciation, it's the P sound. But the spelling is different, so that's an interesting one. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you now have a better sense of how to pronounce these words containing the letters G and H. Don't hesitate to watch this video again and please keep practicing. Practice makes perfect. Thank you for watching my video and see you in the next videos.
Thank you so much for watching my video, guys. If you like it and if you want to see more of them, please show me your support. Click like, subscribe to the channel, put your comments below if you have any, and share the video with your friends. See you!